I'm always exploring these ideas of jewelry as a form of good luck or like a talisman, something totemic, something that brings the wearer power and strength. And so the concept of the evil eye or the bringing protection to the wearer was always something that was really fascinating to me. I would say the aesthetic of the jewelry is a little bit edgy, but still very romantic. We've been uh, working together on an illustrated and animated ad for uh, the new collection that's going to be at Barney's. So the idea for this animated ad is telling the story of the Pamela Love Girl. So it's sort of this character and she's in her home and she has her, you know, suitcases and she has a globe that she's kind of spinning, sort of picking where she's going to go next on her journey. And behind her is a map it's like little arrows. On those arrows, she's hung all of her different jewelry that maybe remind her of that place, or maybe she got it there, you don't know. But it's really about the idea of the, this collector, you know, because I consider my customer to be really a collector. And for me, that's what jewelry is. It's not just an accessory. It's really something more biographical. So we selected pieces that are really sort of part of who I am as a person, the pieces I wear every day that I never take off. And so I'll bring all the different components into the studio and then we scan them in and then we color them. And then after they're colored, they get assembled together into the scene and then an animator animate the different cells that Matt created. Aesthetically, it's, it's very clear that it's done with a pen and a piece of paper in someone's hand, you know, like, uh, you can't really get away from certain things when you do it that way. I was immediately drawn to his style his, of illustration when I first met him. There's something about the detail and the way he shades. It's hard not to keep staring at it. The most exciting part about it is just seeing this idea that I've had in my head for so long be turned into a reality first as just like a drawing. And now to see the components come together for an animation, for me, it's just so exciting.